Hackers are everywhere. They're getting smarter and more sophisticated by the day, and they're targeting everyone from individuals to businesses to governments. Can you truly protect your online presence from prying eyes and ruthless hackers? In this era of hyperconnectivity, the modern-day concern that looms over us like a shadow is the relentless pursuit of cyber criminals seeking to breach our defenses. Are you ready to face the invisible enemy? In this video, we're going to talk about the modern-day concern of being hacked and how to avoid it in 2023. Your security, your privacy, and your future are on the line. Stick around to find out. Phishing Attacks Phishing attacks are one of the most common ways that hackers gain access to personal information. These attacks involve sending fraudulent emails or text messages that appear to be from a legitimate source, such as a bank, credit card company, or government agency. The emails or text messages often contain links or attachments that, when clicked on, install malware on the victim's device or steal their personal information. There are many different types of phishing attacks, but some of the most common include Email phishing Email phishing attacks involve sending fraudulent emails that appear to be from a legitimate source. These emails often contain links or attachments that, when clicked on, install malware on the victim's device or steal their personal information. Smishing Smishing attacks involve sending fraudulent text messages that appear to be from a legitimate source. These sex messages often contain links that, when clicked on, install malware on the victim's device or steal their personal information. Vishing involve making fraudulent phone calls that appear to be from a legitimate source. These phone calls often try to convince the victim to give up their personal information or to install malware on their device. There are a number of things you can do to avoid phishing attacks. Be careful about what links you click on and what attachments you open. If you're not sure whether an email or text message is legitimate, don't click on any links or open any attachments. Instead, contact the sender directly to verify that it's from a legitimate source. Look for red flags. Phishing emails and text messages often contain red flags, such as grammatical errors, spelling mistakes, and suspicious links. If you see any red flags, don't click on any links or open any attachment. Hover over links before clicking on them. When you hover over a link, you can see the actual URL of the link. If the URL doesn't match the website that the link is supposed to go to, don't click on it. If you think you've been fished, it's important to take immediate action. Here are a few things you can do. Change your passwords. Change the passwords for all of your online accounts, including your email, bank, credit card, and social media accounts. Scan your computer for malware. Use antivirus software to scan your computer for malware. Contact your bank and credit card companies. Let them know that you think you've been fished. They may be able to monitor your accounts for fraudulent activity. By being aware of the latest phishing threats and taking steps to protect yourself, you can minimize your risk of being fished. Malware. Malware is malicious software that can be installed on a device without the user's knowledge or consent. Malware can do a variety of things, such as steal data, install spyware, or disable security features. There are many different types of malware, but some of the most common include Viruses Viruses are self-replicating programs that can damage or disable computer systems. Trojan Horses Trojan Horses are malicious programs that disguise themselves as legitimate programs. Once installed on a computer, Trojan horses can steal data, install other malware, or disrupt computer operation. Worms Worms are self-replicating programs that can spread through computer networks without any user interaction. Worms can clog networks and damage computer systems. If you think you've been infected with malware, it's important to take immediate action. Here are a few things you can do. Run a virus scan Use antivirus software to scan your computer for malware. Remove the malware. If antivirus software finds malware on your computer, remove it immediately. Change your passwords. Change the passwords for all of your online accounts, including your email, bank, credit card, and social media accounts. By being aware of the latest malware threats and taking steps to protect yourself, you can minimize your risk of being infected with malware. 
Social engineering attacks. Social engineering attacks are another common way that hackers gain access to personal information and devices. These attacks involve manipulating people into giving up their personal information or clicking on malicious links. There are many different types of social engineering attacks, but some of the most common include baiting attacks. Baiting attacks involve leaving a valuable item, such as a USB drive or ACD, in a public place. The victim finds the item and inserts it into their computer, which then installs malware on the computer. Tailgating attacks. Tailgating attacks involve following a victim into a secure area, such as a building or a computer room. The victim often holds the door open for the attacker, thinking that they are authorized to be there. Pretexting attacks. Pretexting attacks involve creating a false scenario in order to gain the victim's trust. For example, the attacker might call the victim and pretend to be a customer service representative from a bank. The attacker would then ask the victim for their account information. If you think you've been the victim of a social engineering attack, it's important to take immediate action. Here are a few things you can do. Change your passwords. Change the passwords for all of your online accounts, including your email, bank, credit card, and social media accounts. Scan your computer for malware. Use antivirus software to scan your computer for malware. Contact your bank and credit card companies. Let them know that you think you've been the victim of a social engineering attack. They may be able to monitor your accounts for fraudulent activity. By being aware of the latest social engineering threats and taking steps to protect yourself, you can minimize your risk of being a victim. Stay tuned for more as we reveal the shocking tactics hackers are using in 2023 and the ingenious countermeasures experts are deploying to safeguard our digital world. Supply Chain Attacks Supply chain attacks are a type of cyber attack that targets a company's suppliers or vendors in order to gain access to the company's systems or data. For example, a hacker might target a software company's supplier in order to gain access to the software company's still customer data. There are a number of things you can do to avoid supply chain attacks. Choose your suppliers and vendors carefully. Make sure that they have strong security measures in place and that they are reputable companies. Require your suppliers and vendors to meet your security standards. Make sure that they have security policies and procedures in place and that they use security technologies to protect their systems and data. Monitor your suppliers and vendors for security vulnerabilities. You can do this by running regular security scans of their networks and systems. If you think you've been the victim of a supply chain attack, it's important to take immediate action. Here are a few things you can do. Investigate the attack. Find out how the attackers gained access to your systems or data. Remediate the vulnerabilities. Once you know how the attackers gained access, you can take steps to fix the vulnerabilities. Notify your customers. If customer data was compromised, you need to notify your customers so that they can take steps to protect themselves. By following these tips, you can help to choose secure suppliers and vendors and reduce your risk of being the victim of a supply chain attack. Ransomware attacks. Ransomware attacks are a type of cyber attack that encrypts a victim's data and then demands a ransom payment in exchange for the decryption key. Ransomware attacks can be very costly and disruptive to businesses. There are a number of things you can do to avoid ransomware attacks. Keep your software up to date. Software developers regularly release updates to fix security vulnerabilities, so it's important to install these updates as soon as they're available. Use antivirus software. Antivirus software can help to detect and remove ransomware from your devices. Be careful about what attachments you open and what links you click on. Phishing emails and text messages often contain links or attachments that, when clicked on, install ransomware on the victim's device. If you've been the victim of a ransomware attack, it's important to take immediate action. Here are a few things you can do. Do not pay the ransom. Paying the ransom will only encourage the attackers to continue their attacks. Isolate the infected device. Disconnect the infected device from the network and turn it off. Contact a security professional. A security professional can help you to remove the ransomware and restore your data. If you are the victim of a ransomware attack, it is important to report it to the authorities. 
This will help to track down the attackers and prevent them from targeting other victims. So there you have it, modern day concern. Avoid being hacked in 2023. In today's digital world, it's more important than ever to be aware of the latest hacking threats and to take steps to protect yourself. If you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks for watching.